What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hopefully you saw our last tutorial about the map toolbars, the map tools bar. Um, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about the grid and then after that we can uh, jump right into making making a map because that's what you guys want anyway, right? So let's just look at what's going on here. Uh, something I didn't mention last time is that the four windows can be resized to however you like. Which is, uh, can be convenient if you need to work more so out of one of them. You need more screen area, etc. If you, uh, get these messed up, you can go to, uh, view and hit auto size for views. Now, we won't talk about these bars up here um, there's about five of them here let me just pull them down and they each uh, they all serve different general purposes here um, but the f we'll just talk about this one I don't have to go over that's your standard open and save uh, you can do that with the file menu anyway so let's tuck that back in uh, these ones, this one's about rotating geometry. We won't really need that anytime soon. And, uh, but these last two are pretty interesting, uh, but they are a little more in depth. So, uh, we won't need to worry about that so soon, but we will be using those. Uh, this one here is, allows you to change some grid settings, uh, quickly and easily. And I'll show you what those do. Though I don't think you'll be needing it too often. Now this turns off the grid in the 2D view, so toggle grid. Um, if you have a lot going on, a lot of geometry, and you just need to get rid of the grid, that's the easy way to do that. Now here's this uh, 3D one here, toggle 3D grid, and that is just going to show you, well, a grid in 3D. Um, I've never really had to do this. But um, now that I think about it, I could see some instances where it would be useful. So let's turn that off. Uh, you will notice uh, in the middle of the map here we have these three lines. Now they each, each represent the three dimensions. Uh, if you look in the 2D views, you'll see down in the centers of each um, view, there's these uh, sort of green lines going through, and that is what's considered the origin. So the origin is the very center of the map. Um, and uh, it might be important eventually, but it's represented in 3D with the three lines. Now you can see, you can actually zoom out to the full grid size, and you have a lot to work with here. Um, but uh, some entities are tied to the origin. Um, an interesting thing to know is that if you don't have an info player start, uh, your character will just spawn in the origin. And there's other little weird things like that. Uh, two of these, uh, two buttons that you will be using a lot is the lower grid and enhance grid, uh, lower grid and raise the grid. So, um, we can actually zoom in pretty close towards this wall here. And we can lower the grid. Pretty small. Now you saw that it got smaller and then it got bigger when I, when I went low. So that's just because there's a minimum size of grid lines it can represent. But I can actually keep zooming in uh, pretty small. And I th think so that is there is a minimum unit size. So if I was going to build a block right here, this would be the smallest size block possible. So that's your minimum unit. Okay. And we'll show you how to make, I'll show you how to make uh, blocks here in just a second. So, um, I don't, know, don't even know where that is, but I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard and that's gone. And I'm going to I'm gonna enhance my grid. I, I definitely don't want to work that small. Now, if you press four, the number four on your keyboard, that takes you to a good decent size. I'm going to do that in each of the 2D views. Uh, so if you get zoomed out too far, you can always just press four and get back to a good spot. Now, five, six, it, it, they're, they're, all the numbers are pretty much presets 
one, two, three, four, five, all, so even up to nine, zero, one, and that's handy. Uh, but just remember, four is a pretty, pretty safe uh, place to be. So let me make sure I'm at the grid size that I want. See, I'm making it bigger, bigger, and I want to be right there. So if I am drawing a block here, it see how it sticks to the grid. I'm gonna hit escape. Now if I shrink it, remember how it gets smaller, smaller, and then it gets it looks like it gets big even though it's it's just the minimum that I can see. So when I draw my next one, it's actually snapping to the smaller grids. Uh, so we don't really want that for now. I'm gonna zoom out and that's a good safe size. Uh, so for let's why don't we start um, from square one. So I'm gonna close this map. Say no and do file new and uh, you sh yeah, shoot your game and this time I'm going to hit cancel. Now we have a blank map and if we take the camera and look over here we see the there's the origin all by itself.